World 1350 The 24th of April 2018 Get shorter Old Russian presidential spokesman Dmitry Peskov commented Tuesday on U.S.-Russian ties, including sanctions against the Russia-based aluminum giant Rusal, as well as the situation in Armenia following the resignation of Prime Minister Serge Sarkisyan. U.S.-Russia ties Moscow, Sputnik, the Kremlin does not see any real U.S. steps which would evidence Washington's desire for de-escalation in the country's relations with Russia, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Tuesday. The reality, the real state of affairs and real steps which we see from Washington evidence the opposite, I do not think anybody would argue with this, Peskov told reporters when asked whether the Kremlin saw any prospects for de-escalation. Speaking on the Rusal issue, he said the U.S. statements about the possibility of lifting sanctions is still hypothetical, adding that the U.S. restrictions painfully hit the company's consumers around the world. It is obvious that the taken decisions are very painful for consumers of goods of the company, Rusal, from different continents, and it is very obvious that these consumers are asking themselves why should they suffer losses and experience extreme difficulties, Peskov told reporters. He stressed that, we continue to regard these sanctions as illegal, we consider it actually, in relation to the single company, as actions comparable to the asset grabbing, and it is still difficult to judge how consistent our U.S. counterparts are in their approach. On Monday, the U.S. Treasury said that the United States would give U.S. customers an extension until October 23 to wind down their business with Rusal and added that it could consider further sanctions relief for Rusal under certain circumstances, particularly if its major shareholder Oleg Deripaska gives up control of the company. Inappropriate to draw parallels between situations in Armenia, Ukraine, I would not draw parallels, because the situation is completely different, it's hardly possible to draw direct parallels. We certainly still have to analyze the situation, and I repeat, we are following it very attentively. But now I can say that it is inappropriate to draw any associations with Ukraine, Peskov told reporters when asked whether the events in Armenia are a coup. Read more, protests against Sarkisyan's appointment as prime minister resume in Armenia He said the Kremlin hopes for preservation of domestic political stability in Armenia and the consensus of all forces representing the Armenian people. Armenian Prime Minister Serge Sarkisyan resigned Monday because of continuing actions against his election to the post. The protests against the rule of Sarkisyan in Armenia started on April 13. After the politician was appointed as the Prime Minister on Tuesday, the opposition activists announced the beginning of the Velvet Revolution in the country. The opposition accused Sarkisyan of ineffectively governing the country, deepening the economic situation as well as changing the nation's political system to ensure he could stay in power.